the U.S. Army is taking significant steps toward modernizing its armored forces with the introduction of the M1E3 Abrams, set to be its first hybrid electric combat vehicle. This next-generation tank will incorporate a hybrid electric drive system, marking a transformative shift in the Army's vehicle technology. Expected to reduce fuel consumption and minimize electromagnetic signatures, the M1E3 is poised to improve operational efficiency and lower logistical demands, critical concerns highlighted by Undersecretary Gabe Camarillo. The insights gained from recent conflicts, such as the war in Ukraine, have also influenced the design of the M1E3, especially the need for integrated protection against new age threats like loitering munitions and drones. In 2023, the U.S. Army made a pivotal decision to discontinue the M1A2 SCP V4 Abrams upgrade program and focus instead on developing the M1E3 Abrams. Major General Glenn Dean, Program Executive Officer for Ground Combat Systems, explained that the M1A2's capabilities could not be enhanced further without adding weight, which would negatively impact mobility and logistical demands. This led to the creation of the M1E3 Abrams, a tank designed to be lighter, more adaptable and easier to modernize all while integrating the best features of the M1A2 SCP V4. The M1E3 will also adopt a modular open systems architecture, a standard aimed at enabling faster, more efficient upgrades. These updates will reduce the Army's reliance on costly and time-consuming overhauls and keep the tank in line with evolving operational needs. The M1E3's design includes a blend of advanced technologies and features from the Abrams X demonstrator unveiled by General Dynamics Land Systems, GDLS, in 2022, including a hybrid electric diesel engine, a reduction in weight, an unmanned turret, and artificial intelligence, AI, based systems. The M1E3 Abrams will incorporate cutting-edge features informed by a 2019 Army Science Board study and the Abrams X demonstrator. Among the anticipated innovations are an autoloader for the main gun, advanced munitions, integrated armor, and improved command and control systems. These enhancements aim to increase the tank's survivability while reducing its thermal and electromagnetic signatures. The Abrams X, in particular, has highlighted the importance of advanced ammunition options, situational awareness, and enhanced survivability measures, which will all play a central role in the M1E3 design. One key goal of the M1E3 is to improve battlefield adaptability. As Brigadier General Jeffrey Norman pointed out, the tank's weight reduction is critical to enhancing operational flexibility particularly in terms of maneuverability and logistics. The M1E3 will feature advanced networking systems and targeting technologies, alongside robust protective measures for the crew. The emphasis on modular systems will enable faster and more cost-effective integration of future technologies, allowing the tank to remain relevant for decades to come. The M1E3 Abrams is part of a broader U.S. Army effort to incorporate hybrid and electric propulsion systems across its fleet, including the Bradley Hybrid Electric Vehicle, BHEV, and the optionally manned fighting vehicle, OMFV. These hybrid vehicles are designed to enhance operational range, improve onboard power generation, and enable silent operation, capabilities that are becoming increasingly important in modern warfare. As part of its commitment to reducing its logistical and environmental footprint, the Army's climate strategy envisions fully electrifying non-tactical vehicles by 2035 and tactical vehicles by 2050, with hybrid solutions serving as an interim step. This push for hybrid and electric vehicle solutions is not just about energy efficiency. The Army's current projects include the Tactical Hybrid Electric Vehicle, THEV program, which tests hybrid technology in standard tactical vehicles, enabling silent operation and better energy management. These innovations are helping the Army test and refine hybrid and electric vehicle technologies that will support long-term energy goals while adapting to the evolving requirements of modern missions. The M1E3's development is a collaborative effort, with General Dynamics Land Systems, GDLS, playing a key role in shaping the tank's requirements. The contract awarded in May 2024 will help streamline the development process, aligning the M1E3 timeline with the XM-30 mechanized infantry combat vehicle. As the M1E3's design evolves, it will incorporate selected features from the M1A2 SCP V4, such as third-generation forward-looking infrared, FLIR technology and advanced fire control systems, alongside new technologies aimed at further enhancing performance and survivability. The M1E3 Abrams, with its hybrid electric propulsion and cutting-edge technologies, is set to become a cornerstone of the U.S. Army's modernization efforts. As the Army continues to adapt to the demands of modern warfare, the M1E3 Abrams represents not just an advancement in tank design, but a commitment to improving sustainability, 
operational efficiency, and battlefield performance.